there was one time he came home uh, and that guy alinipiga alinipiga and that moment that is when i got my awakening i said apasikai mm -hmm. when i was massaging the the lady so i can't start to initiate conversation i can't realize eh, and you are young how old are you kaambia age yangu kaaniambia umeifikiria to go out of kenya nini nini that statement opened a new chapter in my life mm -hmm. you know when i started uh, doing the uh, my my career mm -hmm. eh nilikuwa nikiona watu wakikiss i see bacteria <laughs> <laughs> Tuko family, our guest today, Rene, tells me that a conversation that started on a massage table landed her in Germany, where she's a practicing dentist and a psychologist, helping her to cope up with the struggles she had undergone here in Kenya. My name is Kingori Wangeshi. This is my story. Let's listen in to Rene. Rene. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kingori. Yes, we finally meet. We finally meet. We have I've been looking for you. Yes. Like you've been looking for us. Yes. But here we are. Today here is we the are. appointed day. Yeah, today is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. And we'll be glad in it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Introduce yourself before I tell them where you're coming from. Mm. Mm -hmm. So my name is Arene. Uh, that's actually the name that is known. Mm -hmm. Everybody calls me Rene, but the Empesa one, <laughs> if someone wants to send the Empesa, yes. is Irina Chen. Irina Chen. Yes. Ah, nice. Yes. Now, uh, I don't want to say that. Um, I, I, do you feel some turbulence or uh, are you jet lagged? Um, no, no, I'm not at the moment. <laughs> I, uh, I landed a few days back. Mm -hmm. um, Last, last week actually, mm -hmm. so I've find time to relax, yeah, so I'm not jet lagged. Okay, Yes. so by that I meant you just landed I just in landed. the country, in 254. Yes. yes. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Germany. Wow. Yes. Now, I if you come from Germany, yes. uh, please in, invite or uh, welcome the people who are watching from Germany yes. in German. This is your camera. Yeah. Yes, tell them welcome to Tuko. Hello, Leute. Wie geht's euch? Wie geht's uh, Guten Tag. Uh, ich bin René. Das ist der Name, der jeder kennt. Und, uh, aber mein Name, der im, im, im Aus, Ausweis ist, ist Irene Ende oder Irene Chien. Those are my names. Um, ich komme aus Deutschland in Hannover. And willkommen here by Tuko. So my story begins in Eldoret. I was born in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad told me I was born in Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a referral. It's called a referral right now, MTRH. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I was born there. Um, and then something happened between my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And then they separated. And this is also a whole story mm -hmm. because uh, I didn't know. Uh, my mom uh, got married somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I normally do appreciate that guy because uh, back then in, in, in those years when, you know, a guy could not just marry a woman with, with children and we were two of us. Mm -hmm. So um, that guy embraced us. We never knew we were not his children mm -hmm. unfortunately uh after a few years when i was in now they call it uh kindergarten mm -hmm. but back then we used to call it nursery school yes <laughs> so uh unfortunately he passed on sorry um, your stepdad now my stepdad mm -hmm. but to me he was a dad i never knew i came to know about my dad uh after in fact um a couple of years back mm -hmm. yes it's also a, a, a story, story. Of, of its own I'll, mm -hmm. I'll share with you it's a very sensational one mm -hmm. a very <laughs> emotional one but um 
So uh, the guy uh, embraced us. So we knew our home was Migori. He mm -hmm. was coming from Migori. I really love this guy. And uh, because he was the first guy, the first man who loved me. And he did. He really did love us. Yeah. Um, because I remember when we were young, um, sad to say, uh, he used to drink. Mm -hmm. And I normally say, I'm writing a book actually for him mm -hmm. because he was a great dad. Um, but a very terrible husband. Mm -hmm. um, and normally, uh, right now we are older and we know that what, you, what your children see, the environment your children uh, grows mm -hmm. up in, will impact them in future. Mm -hmm. Like if your child uh, is just seeing uh, violence at home, that will, the, the no, that will be the norm of this child. So to me, as young as I was, I remember always, I always have that snippet in my, in my brain. Mm -hmm. I remember there's a time they had a, a big fight at home. I think I was, I had not even started school. I was very young. But I have that picture in mind, and up to now, kids don't forget. Normally, we adults we say, "Ah, who bad on him? Tata tanini." They don't forget. They don't forget. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I remember uh, there was a big fight. I I did I can't remember the fight or what it was about, mm -hmm. but I just remember my mom carrying my brother and Kabox and me mm -hmm. on the side, and we were going back to her parents' home. And that's the, that's the only snippet I have. Mm -hmm. But there were a lot of violence at home, especially when he came drunk. He used to drink. He was a great person, mm -hmm. very intelligent. In fact, the person that I am today is because of him, because of the words he spoke. It manifested in, your life. in my life. Mm -hmm. So when the guy died, we used to live in Kisumu at, uh, by that time. We went to Migori, buried the guy. He, he was a big guy, work, an engineer actually. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was working in uh, a poster. Mm -hmm. And you know, those days, engineers were... It was a were, huge deal. It was a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just uh, to Rudy Kidogo, uh, I remember when, we were, when he used to come home. The reason I'm saying he was a great dad, and the reason he has impacted me so much, even un subconsciously, I just realized uh, through therapy that I have been looking for this guy through my relationships. Okay. Yes, that's how deep it, it was. Mm -hmm. So uh, he used to come home and those uh, give a, he, he always had something, goody goodies for you for us kids mm -hmm. and he loved me with my sister so much you could never tell that we were not his mm -hmm. even at home uh, in migori that story never came out i just i came uh, i found out on my own yes that this guy and i was so sad because the whole time i knew my dad died a long time ago i, I attended the burial and everything so um coming to know that all this while going through all that i've gone through mm -hmm. and there's a dude somewhere who was <laughs> who fathered me mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, i had uh, mixed emotions at first uh, i started hearing you know those that my cousins they just say ah who are you who are you but me, I know that dad was dark. Me, I'm a bit lighter, mm -hmm. and there's no comparison, you know? So they will just whisper, but I didn't know what they were saying. Mm -hmm. And I think at that time, I wasn't ready. To know the truth. To know to the, face truth. the truth. Yes, I didn't. I, and even we were brought up in a setup where you don't ask questions, mm -hmm. you know? So me, I just... I blocked it somewhere in my mind and moved on with life. After we buried him, uh, 
we went back to Kisumu. My mom was doing business, and that's when actually life started happening. Mm -hmm. So life happened. It was tough. Like uh, she was a strong woman, I might say. I can say, and I can really confirm that because he will, he he could do everything just to put food on the table. I don't remember a day when where we went. We slept hungry. Mm -hmm. I don't remember me wearing rags. I don't. As a single mom back then, the way that it was hard, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Like we were not that well off. We were struggling. We lived in a, a single, self-confused <laughs> sort of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you are happy. Yes. You are happy. Uh, so until uh, there's one time my mom came from work. So that day she came late, very late. I was maybe 10, 11. Mm -hmm. um, and it was unusual of her to come home so late. So you were very young. Yeah, we were young. Mm -hmm. We were young. And I have, when my, when my stepdad died, my mom was pregnant, mm -hmm. so our last one was born after he died. Mm -hmm. So we were four of us, okay. two girls and two boys. Uh, so he came, she came late, and it was not that 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 nini that furaha that that little asiku like when she comes to Nanda, mommy, mommy. Mm -mm, it was not that. She just came through her bags there and went to bed and. She cried. Mm -hmm. Did you ever know why? I came to realize later what happened. Mm -hmm. So when she was coming from her business, some dudes, uh, Olim Shika, mm -hmm. and raped her and stole everything that she had, all money that she had made on that particular day was gone. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry. I think I'm not healed from that. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's never it's never easy. Yeah. So, oh my God. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Well, take your time. It's okay. So, mm, so me, I didn't know what happened. So she just said, "I think tengezi and guzako kitwa kule." I was young, mm -hmm. so. And uh, my sister had gone to stay with my uncle in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. So actually, I was I was the acting firstborn. I was an acting firstborn for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, so me, I didn't know what happened. And she, and then she woke up from the bed after wailing, went shower, and then So as you know you are traumatized from that mm. because you've never it's not something that you've your, never seen yeah mm. the, you've never seen your mom cry you've never seen your mom in that in that state so um i think my my, my two brothers didn't register mm -hmm. but it really bothered me mm -hmm. why is mom crying and i remember even i could go at the bedside and ask mom mom and she cried. That woman cried that day. Um, I came to realize later because she shared with me. Mm -hmm. Now when things went south. So apparently through that uh, she got infected. Oh. Yeah. And The reason I'm saying this story is because is because she didn't have uh, a voice to to tell her story. She and I I think I just want. If my family will watch this, they should know that 
my mom akon to akohanya i never saw a man in our home mm -hmm. she was so any and come to straight and to real but then you know after she got infected mm -hmm. no one believed her just that stigma that stigma began with family mm -hmm. and it was so bad she started ailing pole pole too and then there were no drugs mm -hmm. Um, and after a few months, as I went mm -hmm. uh, after a few months, uh, she died. Sorry. And I had to to stop school because she couldn't do anything. There was stigma. Right now is when I realize it was stigma. Mm -hmm. Well, she passed on. Things moved. You know, kwa matanga, everyone comes, says, eh, nini sasa, nitachukua uyu, nitachukua uyu. And I think that thing should stop. Mm -hmm. Separating siblings is not the ideal mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. It's not. Because these kids, they have not processed the loss of their, of the of their deceased uh, parent. Mm -hmm. They have not, um, they are still going through this traumatic experience and then at least when you're together you can you can talk through it when you're alone nobody understands you, you. go through it alone you are alone so mm -hmm. my sister and my and i went to stay with my uncle in eldoret mm -hmm. and my two brothers went to stay with my other uncle in imbo i don't know if you know imbo mm -hmm. it's a place in in uh, in Nyanza. Mm -hmm. So we were separated, but uh, yeah. So it wasn't easy. I can tell you for, for sure it wasn't easy because I mean, as much as it's, n it's never the same. Mm -hmm. So what were you going through? So um, I was going through a lot. I even started being you know re uh, rebellious i stopped laughing mm -hmm. i stopped being a kid i remember there was a time <laughs> my one of my grandma used to say hey, mm -hmm. but i never used to find anything to laugh about you know i was going through much but nobody could understand um then it went on and uh then a traumatic experience happened mm -hmm. which i'll not get at not go deep into mm -hmm. and uh and then i conceived mm -hmm. my first child mm -hmm. i was very young it was someone close mm, actually a friend of my cousins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that traumatic experience happened and I've made peace with it. But after after that I was given away for marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's another aunt of mine who comes from now my stepdad's side. Uh, after she had that I've uh, conceived and uh, given birth to a baby girl uh, I was given away mm -hmm. for marriage mm -hmm. did, you, Which, did you want to get married no mm -hmm. I didn't even know I was not ready mm -hmm. okay because physically mentally emotionally as a child you're not ready to handle a home mm -hmm. That's easy. I'm old enough, but now sometimes I feel I'm not, I'm not that yeah, old enough to, to handle like you know, so. Uh, so we we went to Nairobi, mm -hmm. another environment in Kitengela. Mm -hmm. That's when we got married. Yes, mm -hmm. we went to Kitengela, and um, in Kitengela, life was was harsh. Mm -hmm. Life was harsh because you are a child, 
and you have a child. And then it didn't take long, and then I conceived my second born. Mm -hmm. So, like every like, usho na ni unafikiri anga tu kwa ni ni wewe tu isi vitu zitaisha. It was so tough, but now the the worst part of it is, uh, the guy was also very violent. Mm -hmm. How how was your that marriage? I wouldn't call it a marriage. Mm -hmm. It was a one-sided marriage. Mm -hmm. I didn't consent. So according to me, it wasn't a marriage because I, according to my understanding of marriage is when two people consent, mm -hmm. if two people love each other. You know, you come to me and tell me, hey, Rene, me, I, me we do life together. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I think there's, um, there's a certain age when you are, even your frontal lobe is not yet um, developed. You can't think like an adult. Mm -hmm. You know, at a billion, when I was young, I used to think like a child. There's a reason why it, it says that you think like a child. You have to be an adult to, to you know, to, to tackle adults' uh, issues. Mm -hmm. You just can't. But when you're a child, you do a lot, you mess up big time. So uh, me, I wasn't ready and uh, now the marriage itself was, I think um, for me, I was just there because now I didn't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. So you, where will you go? Where will you go to? Ukiangalia, right, left, right, center, everywhere is fire. Mm -hmm. So it's better this where you are than, you know, going uku ama rukurudi home. Back home, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, even after, after I conceived my, my first child, I think there's just a lot of things that came up and people didn't understand me. It was like, mm -hmm. and then there's this phrase you know, people normally say, like, Right now, when, when I work with my, with my kids, they can't, there's just some, some insensitive statement people do make. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every time somebody says that, it brings you back to... To that traumatic experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to keep on explaining myself because I've, I've moved past that. Mm -hmm. But every time, oh, eh. Narene wewe, eh, si ulianza mapema. Kwa ni uliko na kimbia nini? It's very traumatizing. Because every time you make such sentence, such, such nini, you, you just, I can't move past this. I'm trying to run away, to, to move on, but just one statement. And it, it often comes, like, even in Germany when I'm, um, when there are these uh, African occasions, Ama, we are meeting Kenyan parties or what. Mm -hmm. So, me, I've never hidden my kids. And I'll come, I'll come to that. That is also a story of its own mm -hmm. because it was not also easy to accept that you are now, you are a child yourself. You're thinking like a child. And the, these two people, like, you can't mess up. They're relying on you. They're they relying on you. They're looking up to you. So, like, you are just, you're fighting yourself. Mm -hmm. You're fighting with yourself the whole time. Even if you're sleeping, you're eating, you can't eat and enjoy your food knowing that, you know. Mm -hmm. Was your husband supportive? You said he was violent. How was that experience? It was traumatic. Actually, um, <laughs> I later came to realize I fell into depression. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if a lot of, if, if um, my family know, know, know about it, I fell into deep depression because um, I couldn't eat. I couldn't go out of bed. Now, mm -hmm. When he comes and he's drunkard, I told you, uh, did I tell you he was drunkard? He was, he was also like 
my stepdad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this thing was just repeated. History repeats itself. And according to me, I saw it happening to my mom. So it didn't raise any alarm. Mm -hmm. I was just like, Kumbe, this Marriages is normal. Marriages are like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this is marriage. Marriage lazima utapigwa. So, but I remember um, there was one time he came home. Uh, and that guy, Ali Mupiga. Mpaka, I couldn't understand how such mtumkubo hivo, very tall guy, and as a piga mtutomdogo, because I was thin, I was tiny, young, mm -hmm. Ali Mupiga. And that moment, that is when I got my awakening. I said, Apasikai, mm -hmm. this guy is going to kill me. He will kill me because I remember when he was he was beating me, but I, I was also trying to defend myself. But I'm he's too nini agona nguvu kunishinda. So there's a time I chukua pila kaniye care. So I'm struggling to breathe, to shout, and that's the moment. So after that fight, I think we never fought again. I fell into deep depression. So the situation was so bad, uh, I went into deep depression and uh, I, I, I attempted to take my life. Um, after that incident, I remember being in the hospital. That night, I was rushed uh, to the hospital. He himself rushed me to the hospital mm -hmm. and he left me there. Actually, according to me, I normally think he left me there to die. Because there's no way you leave someone in a very critical condition. I was unconscious. You leave someone in a very critical condition and come back the next day mm -hmm. at around three o'clock. So when he, uh, that so is when you decided to to run away from. I had an angel mm -hmm. when I was in this. Uh, unconscious situation there was an angel mm -hmm. keeping he was talking to me the whole time the whole time mm -hmm. he never stopped it was it was a very gentle voice gentle voice just talking to me yani like 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 uh, taking me through therapy mm -hmm. telling me uh, anytime things go south always think about your children and then you'll find the strength and that thing he talked about it until i became conscious mm -hmm. and then when i became conscious i never saw anybody the reason i'm saying it was an angel uh when i was being discharged i asked the guy there because uh a night shift mm -hmm. when i was discharged because i came at night and when I left, it was just a small nini clinic mm -hmm. up in Kitangela. So I asked, Nani alikuwa jana usiku? And uh, kanyambia ni mimi? Kanyambia madam wa unajua ulikuwa naenda? Wa ulikuwa tunakupoteza? Mm -hmm. uh, that nini, because I, I live on a nimbia, I was, you know, throwing up. So that throwing up is what helped you. So I asked, ah. Because someone was talking to me the whole time. Mm. So that's when I knew I had an angel. Yes. I had an angel. And when I left there, I started planning out. Mm -hmm. Because I knew How can you're not going to be there? I was. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, fortunately, uh, my sister had moved to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. She was uh, working there. So during this period when, when there were violence at home, she, there was one time I called her. I mm -hmm. didn't have a phone, but uh, there's a neighbor there. She's also like a blessing in my life, mm -hmm. that woman. She was just a neighbor. Um, <laughs> self-confused houses 
So um that woman uh, alikuwa ananiita kamkutano. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa ananiambia wewe ni kama mtoto wangu. And true to it, she had uh, kids even way older than I was. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa ananiambia wewe ni mtoto wangu. Usiache huo mtu wa kufanya hivi. You see love a long way to go. Mm-hmm. So nikapata namba ya sister and then I called. Mm-hmm. So by good luck or by good chance my sister said kuja Mombasa mm-hmm. so what i did mm, i knew nikiambia huyu mtu naenda kabisa azikubali atakubali mm-hmm. and i knew nikiacha watoto mm-hmm. tena nishinda i'll come back mm-hmm. i'll always come back here yeah. so uh, i planned uh, planned well my sister can to me a fair no actually my sister didn't send fair mm-hmm. Ooh, I, we I just we talked him Gambia I'm just going for a week at least in your next you know since tangu for a while at please pia aone watoto Mhm. Hata sijui ni Mungu gani alimkubalia hiyo siku because alikuwa ataki. Mhm. It was not the first time I was asking. But this day alikubali. Ukakimbia Mombasa. My friend. Mhm. Muri Ferran. <laughs> hey. yeah. But now uh, funny thing is um, he took us up to inini up uh, Nairobi for bus station mm-hmm. he took the bus went my sister picked us up went and I saw a different life mm-hmm. in Mombasa. <laughs> in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Like it was an awakening paka nafikiri nasema hey, such life iko sababu mimi nimeishi kwa ile ile ya uh, poverty mm-hmm. poverty like um before my mom died in Colombia we never we always had food on the table and mm-hmm. clothes now when i came to experience hunger is when she yeah. passed on. Ni hapo kwa hiyo marriage. Mhm. Ni hapo. There was like it was just it was just too much. Anyway, I went to Mombasa. Um and since uh I had not finished my high school. So I knew I had to go back to school. Mhm. I had that Remember I told you the person I am today is because of the yes. my stepdad. Yes. That guy used to tell us msome until no school ahead. Mm-hmm. Until no school ahead. Amelewa lakini anakuambia nyinyi wasichana wangu wawili nataka msome mpaka no school ahead. And I think he also believed that we could mm-hmm. we could do it. So yani alitupatia that motivation even uh, there was I, i think a couple of years ago i was talking to my sister and i'm like do you know the life we're living now is the manifestation of that guy yes it's unfortunate he didn't live to see it mm-hmm. but it is the manifestation the, the words that is spoken to our, our yes. lives yes yeah so i went to mombasa and that that car i knew exactly i can't do anything without my certificates mm-hmm. So uh I started hustling uh by good chance my sister had a ka, ka shop mm-hmm. a curious shop up over akanieka up over so I was managing uh her, you know the her businesses mm-hmm. so uh my sis we had a conflict and then we fell out and you know my sister was now the sole provider she was paying me mm-hmm and pay my rent and everything so that between, stopped that stopped mm-hmm. with immediate effect sasa wewe jipange so i had to jipanga i had i started hustling so the good thing uh in her shop there was a massage parlor mm-hmm. and uh nikajifunza through those ladies nikajifunza massage but not the other one mm-hmm. massage to mzuri mm-hmm. uh and uh nika nini nikaenda kwa massage parlor nyingine and i started hustling there i started hustling the funny thing is kama ninge kanda uh, mtu hivi mm-hmm. beat black or white 
atarudi hakuna mtu mwingine atamkana mm -hmm. he always come back she will always come back anauliza tu where is that lady mm -hmm. you yeah. had the favor of god in your hands yes mm -hmm. i was blessed the, yani like but um it was also a tough journey because now I had to hustle hard. You know, when I was with my sister, I knew rent will be paid. My kids won't go angry. Soft life. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, like, I'm just good. You're so, okay. Yeah. So, mm. after, when we nini with my sister, it was a wake-up call. Now you're on your own. And she gave me tough love. Like, eh. <laughs> Tungekutana hata kwa barabara niangali. Mm -mm. So the um, it was during that period that I started now going back to school. Mm -hmm. So now jipeleka shule. Because I knew this is not my portion. I wanted to do better. Yes. So I started taking taking my back, uh, taking myself back to school. I enrolled. I had uh, books at home. I was reading at our na nyamba. Mom, wewe unachokanga kusoma kweli. Mm -hmm. Because ever since they know me one there. Yeah, mm -hmm. ever since they know me, I've been I've been in books. So um, so I took myself to school, and then I took my then then a stepping stone came. Mm -hmm. There is a um, mzungu I used to uh, I used to handle, you know, uh, massage. Uh, there were a couple, mm -hmm. Mama na, bwana, uh, na the husband. Mm -hmm. So um, when I was massaging the, the lady, so I can't initiate conversation. I can say, eh, and you are young. How old are you? I can be a young girl. I can be a woman. I can be to go out of Kenya. I can be a your dream is good. Yeah, it can't happen. How? <laughs> <laughs> like how? Mm -hmm. Like really? Mm -hmm. Hey. So. That statement opened a new chapter in my life. Mm -hmm. So, I, uh, so hey. it was happening on a massage table. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm massaging this woman, and she's initiating. So me unaja, like she's confusing me. Like I'm like, I can't concentrate because I have you know by, when you're doing massage you have to concentrate because mm -hmm. una is a ile nini sana So mm -hmm. you. Lazima uwe, uwe apo, you have to be in the present moment to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So this this mama is initiating. Nini, ni kamambia, ah, I've never dreamt about it. It's too big. Yes, and mm -hmm. then uh, apo, you know, kuna hizo ma street schools. Mambo, kitaka kuenda this country, you have to learn this, this you have to learn the language, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So ni kamambia, ah, mia, ata, I've never dreamt about it because I can't even afford uh, to go to German school. Akanyambia, mm -hmm. do you have kids? Mkambia, yeah, I have two kids. Akanyambia, tani nisomesha. Okay. Yes. Akanyambia, tani nisomesha. Alikuwa na itua uta, that lady. And she was from Germany herself. Yeah, she mm -hmm. was from Germany. They used to come regularly. So anytime akikuja, nanipeleka dinner, nini. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when she's there, she's she was sponsoring me. So like, at least there was a kuna kuna smoothness in Guinea. I could jump at least now in the Western Union. I'm getting a few cash, mm -hmm. uh, and she was also paying to the school. Mm -hmm. She was not well, you sending, were studying. She, the money that she was sending me was just for my pocket money for mm -hmm. the kids, but for my study, she was sending directly to the school mm -hmm. because she uh, before they left, she told me go to. Um, Go to Mombasa town and look for a college. What you want to do? Mm -hmm. Mimi nani. I went and uh, I searched for computer and German class. Mm -hmm. Because you know you have a dream to go to Germany. Yeah, was yes. yeah, <laughs> Opportunity, <laughs> run with it. Yes. I, I ran with it. Mm -hmm. So I came. I uh, come later. Those nini, those uh, senate documents. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And ah, hey, okay. Then uh, to come make plans, vile ni akienda atakuwa na nisi, anatuma pesa. And uh, that's how... You found yourself in Germany. I found myself in Germany. Mm -hmm. So before I even, I, before that, so now when I was um, doing the German lesson, mm -hmm. I was actually good. Because nimepoyo kipawa ya language. 
So nika when I when I was doing German, so unaja those days there were a lot of tourists on the beach. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to to do much. Mm -mm. Ukingia apu kwa beach, you do one massage, unatoka na 1,200 for a day. Mm -hmm. Na mimi ni mtoto mdogo siji pesa kubwa. I am good for, iyo siku uchakula, iyo tumekula. Mm. <laughs> we come the next day. So, um, it was in that period when I was learning German, so I started initiating also the Germans. Mm. And now, uh, now I got... My hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In Mombasa. In Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Another one. Yeah. Now, that one, that, the first one was not marriage. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Don't uh -huh. confuse this. So this one, one you, you... Because this one was wanted. a real marriage. It was... He even paid uh, Mahari. Mm -hmm. He did all the traditional things. And and also we had... We went to the AG and we got married officially. Okay. So the other one you are not ready, but this you are. This I is wasn't marriage. ready. Mm. The problem is, even this one I wasn't ready. I was still young. Okay. I was still young, but um, I was running away from myself. Mm -hmm. I was running out. I think that is, it came to hit me later. I was, I've been running away from myself. Mm -hmm. I've been running away because I'm like, Nikifika somewhere that Nobody knows me. Start afresh. Mm -hmm. Then maybe easy V2 that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. Easy Tayenda. Not knowing that easy V2 unazibeba unaingia nazo. Mm -hmm. So, um, initially, I was in therapy. I didn't know about anything. I love you. I marriage not know how successful I had ever seen. So, John and I have quite a relationship with mm -hmm. this marriage, mm -hmm. with still with the that trauma. mentality mm -hmm. and with the trauma. Mm -hmm. um, we process everything. He was, he was a good guy. I really loved him. Mm -hmm. I really did. Because um, I, was, I was a bit cautious to say me too. I was a bit cautious when getting married to, mm -hmm. to him. But he showed me that he was... He was uh, but remember, I was looking for a father figure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was looking for a father figure. And uh, he was uh, a bit older than I was. Mm -hmm. So there's I saw a dad. There's something you mentioned that yeah. there were lots of tourists. Was he one of them or he was uh, a person from the coastal side? Okay. This guy, how I met him, mm -hmm. he, was, mm, he had been invited to a wedding. Mm -hmm. And this wedding... I was also invited in. Mm -hmm. So we went and met. And after we met, uh, we just started talking. Okay. We just, actually, we started as friends. We started talking, vibing, nini nini. Um, and then a few days, I think uh, after one day, he left to Germany. And then he asked for my number. Mm -hmm. So when he was there, he used to call. We are catching up. So we was he a Kenyan? No. Or is a... I... Who's from, from German. German. Okay. Yeah. So you see, there was that, like German was just following me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was that Dutch Kamama from Germany who paid for my, who sponsored me mm -hmm. to go through school. And then there was this also. So when, uh, the, 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 I think uh, the reason why the guy liked me, because I was fluent in German. Mm -hmm. We could converse. Yes. Yeah, we could converse. So anytime he came over, so I was like, Mindo tuwa nini tuwa gaidu wake. Okay. So we were friends for a while. And until now, uh, he said, I me, uh, I'd like you to be my wife. Mm -hmm. But remember, I was running from my, uh, told me I knew, eh, this destination, mm -hmm. I'm going. Back at Germany. Lazima tuende. Mm -hmm. Kata si tunarudi tu. What's the worst that can happen? Mm -hmm. You have to try it. Taker. Yes. I packed. Mm -hmm. We went. Now that's a... Did you live with your kids? Uh, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I had so much trauma going on. Alafu. Though, uh, I was so scared that I was going in a very foreign country. Mm -hmm. I have no friends. I have no family. Nobody. My fear was when I'm there... I love you, Mtua Tugeuke. 
Afadali nikiwa peke yangu mm. I can run to the street. Okay. What about if I'm with the kids? Okay, okay. And the one position. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if what if I'm with the kids? So uh, but it was a wise decision but it also costed me mm -hmm. a lot. How? A lot because remember I love my kids. I couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. Well in Germany. I was yes. Mm -hmm. I was uh, anxious the whole time. If I see Simia Kenya, mm -hmm. too, I think that anxiety, I still have it. Mm -hmm. It has never left because I was so... Ang and then what happened is when my daughter turned... Teenager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trauma li rudi. Mm -hmm. Ili hit. And that's when now my marriage also broke mm -hmm. because I couldn't cope. I was going through much. Then you came back to Kenya? I, I used to come. Mm -hmm. Every year I used to come to see kids. Mm -hmm. The good thing, German, when you go to German, they, you, you go straight to school mm -hmm. to, to learn their language. The government is paying for you. So that was a good start f on my side. So I was young. My young sasa in bando in Nilea Kusoma. I'm energetic. Na soma any nikona time. Wato you wako home fine. Nikona iso nini. So uh, I think nili dig my nini to kwa books sema hapa sasa kaende kaende mm -hmm. books so nikajiingiza kwa books tukaanza kusoma uh, nikaanza kusoma nika nika kwa successful kwa german class nikasema okay now this is now where i, can I was converse, told to be yeah now i can co converse with mm -hmm. these people did you, did you look for the lady who had uh, who was paying for your german classes i sent her mails mm -hmm. Up to today, I'm looking for that lady. Oh, no. You've yes. never met her after no, that? No, no. But she I even wanted manifested. her to come to my... Yeah, I even wanted her to come to my wedding, but mm -hmm. I sent a mail. Because back then, we, we used no, uh, to talk only through mails. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so somehow, I don't know what happened. I just lost, lost track of her, never heard of her again. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened to her. I, I've really looked for her. Kabisa, I've gone even kwa yo state ya nyalikuwa naishi. Just to look around kwa wana kaya, I can see someone wanya nafana na ye. Because she was an angel. Mm, she was. She was an angel. Mm. But then, she was an angel who I was not supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. She did her job. And left. And nyalikuwa assigned to do, mm. and left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, uh, so I nikaanza. So uh, initially, me as as a kid, I wanted to be either a journalist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a bad career, is it? It's not. Mm, it's you. not. Yeah. But I don't know. Uh, I wanted to be either a, 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 a journalist, and I also wanted to be a musician mm -hmm. because I used to. I loved singing. So singing sister Ngwali. So after these things, you know, so uh, my career was just by default. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know what to do. And then I just said, ah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you became a dentist. Yes. So that is what you're doing in Germany now. Yes. How is it? Um... It's a beautiful career, mm -hmm. but I feel like uh, I'm not yet there. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I'm not leaving my purpose. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, right now, there's, a, uh, there's something that I, I wanted that, that, you know, to serve people. Mm -hmm. You don't have to serve people with money. You, you can serve people with your words. And I know I'm blessed with words. Mm -hmm. And I know that I've spoken nice things to people, even my friends, even, yeah, I'll not go deep into it. And they've succeeded. Yes. So I had that in my, in my heart. I'm like, Nataka, as it was, um, as from this year, mm -hmm. I made it like a mission. Every day, I'll have to tell three kids affirmations mm -hmm. because i work um unajua uko hivyo kuna vile wame separate there is um 
kifa autopedia au au ni wenye wana fix meno braces ni nini and then kuna sasa uh, au ma dentists wenye pia kuna specialize au wenye wame specialize sasa ndio wanatengeza hizo ma veneers uh, ama no not veneers um braces braces okay. aligners vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. retainers uh, but sasa dentist ni mtu tu wa kudeal na meno ugonja ya meno mm-hmm. so it was not giving me that fulfillment so i had to change career okay yeah so and i also love children i love to work with kids mm-hmm. so at my practice we do we work a lot with kids like 80% of our patients not even 80 more and it's even it's even the the age group that i love mm-hmm. this e almatini i feel like that's where my calling is mm-hmm. so unajua una unaona mtoto anakuja anakuja kama amejishika hivi sad ama maybe you know but akitoka nikimhandle ni akitoka mm-hmm. na smile mm-hmm. that just one word i always tell them just keep your smile just smile mm-hmm. you know if you smile it it na brighten even your face it brighten it has a lot of impact yeah yes. so I, i i just felt like i should be telling kids affirmation because in most of them at home they don't hear these affirmations mm-hmm. just i remember when i was young i just needed someone to tell me you just enough the way you are there was a time i had self esteem issues mm-hmm. But look at you now. Look at me now. Oh. God is good. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how is life in Germany compared yeah. to Of course when you're here you went through so much. Yes. But now in Germany it's yes. now the other side of the coin. Yes. You have a career. Yeah. Uh, that you're practicing. Yeah. Uh, you're making some money. Mm. Uh, you are also fulfilling your dream mm. uh, of talking to kids. Yeah. How can you compare the two? How is life in Germany? Give us an experience. Germany has the the good side and the bad side but I normally say life is how you see it. Mm-hmm. If you see positive you'll just see positive. What you want to see is what you will see. Mm-hmm. What you're seeking is what you'll find. Hakuna mm-hmm. kitu kingine. Like nikitaka kutafuta makosa hapa kwa hii nyumba. I get it. Yes. So mimi um, I've tried my best to see the positive although mm-hmm. it's not easy. Mm-hmm. There's racism. Mm-hmm. Institutional racism is that uh, it's in the in the work environment. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, you know Germany there are a lot of old people. Mm-hmm. So most of people who are employed who are actually bringing the tasks are young people mm-hmm. and most of them like almost uh, I might say maybe 60% mm-hmm. are immigrants. Mm-hmm. And immigrants they come with such a certain energy. They, they 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 are you know um, ukitoka huku kama umeshajua shida uende ukute mtu mwenye ajai ona shida mm-hmm. there is that difference. there is a big difference mm. so there is that nini there is that uh, i don't know I, i maybe we will find time I, i i'll go into it also how i got into depression through that so oh, you did yes please tell us it was so bad mm-hmm. so um um I was working in one practice there mm-hmm. and uh, I knew there was a colleague who didn't like me. But now the the problem was my boss was also igniting the fire because he could show that he liked my work so much. Mm-hmm. You know. So it happened that But it was good. Your work was good. I really enjoyed it, but that is why I actually changed mm-hmm. my career, you know, because I thought uh iko na stress sana in this one. I can deal with kids. Mm-hmm. Kids are I live for kids. I love kids. Mm-hmm. But this this uh, colleague uh, it it happened that he used she used to bully me a lot. Mm-hmm. Every time you get a job it's about hey I win I win I win. Yani even behind my back but me if you're talking behind my back I don't bother. Mm-hmm. That's why you belong. Stay there. <laughs> yeah. What? Yes. It's true. true. Mm. I on, I'll only respect you if you come to me and tell me eh hey, rene mm. apa pe you know I'll t- i i take criticism Go- good or bad criticism mm-hmm. it's okay but come uh, uh, you're talking behind my back and you know the next day well, so it went my my boss so there was a uh, particular time um 
I had not healed from my traumas and then there was a lot going on in that I could not process and it's it triggered mm -hmm. so after I triggered I even had to go to a psychiatrist Uko mm -hmm. uh, to it was bad because I had to take medicine medication so um, and uh, I had to change now my career and do some other things. Uh, I loved that, that practice, but it was not doing me any good mentally. Mm -hmm. It was draining me. So after, so that is when I started the process of healing from, you know, because we had to now dig in. Why? Because it, actually it wasn't... Uh, like such a big thing like if it happens now mm -hmm. too. Mm. but because it was a trigger it, uh, it came it, back worse it yeah, it hit me b real bad mm -hmm. i was in the hospital for three months yes fighting depression fighting depression my mm -hmm. friend mm -hmm. and it was so bad because it came with psychotic yeah so what is that psychotic is when uh when <laughs> In a layman's language, it's your cycle. Okay. Like um, your the chemicals in your in your brain are not cooperating. Mm -hmm. So, like you'll have delusion, you'll be delusional, you'll um, you'll have um, hallucinations. Like uh, with me, I used to hear voices. Mm -hmm. Like I could just hear someone instructing me to cross the road and let a car hit me mm. you know mm -hmm. so those uh, so there were you have you must have a doctor to monitor you okay. you know so i didn't know and that's why now when i went into that depression i think it's, it was also a wake up call for me to go back to school yes yeah to go back to school and uh, actually i want to when, once I'm done, I'll, I'll be graduating next year. I'll be a psychologist as well. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to be a neuroscientist or something. So you'll still go back I'll to school? I'll still go back. I'm not done yet. You see, that dad, I'll uh -huh. remember until no school ahead. Yes. That is what is happening. And it happens so smoothly. Like, um, there are some people who want to struggle with their mashule over. I don't struggle. I just find myself in the movie. Mm -hmm. So I think that those words in a pave two njia for me. Yes. So I'm not done yet. There are a lot I want to know about human, mm -hmm. our human, especially our brain, how the circuits work, how our chem the chemicals in our brain work. I'm so interested to know that because how how can just an outside event trigger me mm, to so be a psycho mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's also unfortunate i see a lot of even people on the streets here in kenya in germany you don't see that because they are more well informed about uh mental illnesses mm -hmm. even in fact when i went to the the madare there mm -hmm. that's when i knew mental illness is no joke mm -hmm. they were you just find someone mm -hmm. he's completely in his or her own world i cried well the first day i was i, I took myself actually mm -hmm. because i i started to realize i i had slept two days no eating no nini and then i realized Ile kitu inakuja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, nikaenda. So at least when it was happening, I was, I had empowered myself through podcasts. I do a lot of easy podcasts, um, mental wellness. Mm -hmm. So at least I had known if you see this, like your appetite is gone. You just want to stay in bed. You don't want the curtains to be open. You just want to be in the, in the dark. You, everything is just, irritates you you're just irritable you know that umeanza could slide mm -hmm. down so me a good thing um through those podcasts because at that time i had not started uh 
the, uh, the, the studies that I'm doing right now, but through that now, uh, through the podcast, I, I analyzed myself. And then I went to my doctor. I said, I'm feeling this way and this way, and I'm afraid that I might lose touch with reality, mm-hmm. and I might hide, hurt myself or my kids. So please check me in. Mm-hmm. So she just wrote me a, a transfer letter, and I went there. Okay. And when I went there and I was checked in, eh, ni Lilia. Kasi magai, ni mendazimu. It wasn't, it's not a joke. It's mm-hmm. not a joke kuona yo kitu. Mm. It's not. Nata nilipona. Nilianza kupona. Immediately. Yeah, mm-hmm. nilianza kupona because unaona watu. Nimpaka nikaanza kuwauliza, eh, hey, mi pia niko mendazimu. Mm. I started medication immediately and um, yeah, I was admitted for three months. Uh, took my medication religiously. I still take them because there is, you know, once you've suffered uh, mental illness, um, it's something, it doesn't go away completely. Si kama malaria itaenda upone. So you have to keep You have to keep in up check. in check. Mm-hmm. So um, my doctor advised I should keep on um, taking, not as much as I used to, but maybe once a, a week, mm-hmm. I'll just take a pill, mm-hmm. you know, just for my chemical, the chemicals in my brain to, 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 to stabilize. Okay. Yeah. To balance. Okay. I mean, yes. Uh, you stay in Germany with your kids now? Yes. Ah, interesting. So you One came back for One is still here, but mm-hmm. she'll be coming next week, uh, next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's uh, also doing psychology. Mm-hmm. She's uh, taking she, after you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's in... Um, in Kwan University. Okay. Yeah, my first born. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, would you consider yourself as a person uh, who has gone through all that? Can we say that you're conquering the world? I am. Right from Kenya? I am. Mm-hmm. I am. Hey, I'm conquering. Like, uh, right now, I s- there's no limit. And then, you know, once you, once you, you know, I love reading. Mm-hmm. There is a book I normally read. There is this book um, that opened my mind, The Secret. Mm-hmm. The Secret, that's when I started manifesting about everything that I have until now. My project is through The Secret. How you think, you have to change your mindset. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I feel like just niende apoke ICC with nini. Ni ubiria watu how to change your mindset. People should, I mean, no offense, but um, people should stop just worshipping God. You have to change your mindset. If you want to get out of poverty, that is what multi-billionaires are doing. That is what wealthy people are doing. There's a difference between being rich and being nini. When you're rich, you can still lose that that uh, richness. You're in Isaiah. But when you're wealthy, there's, a, there's that empowerment it comes with it. Even psychologically, you you know it's so people should change their mindset. Sana, everything starts here. And the moment Sisi wa Kenya, I'm Africa at large, think of, uh, to to process you not to change. There is also there is also another book I read. How you speak it that also matters. Mm-hmm. Mm. The power of the tongue. The power of the tongue, but but also how you say it. Mm-hmm. How you say it is also important because, for example, if I say, I will not do that, I find myself doing that. That what I'm not, I don't want to do is what I'll manifest. Mm-hmm. You know why? Do you know why? Let me ask you. No, I don't. Yeah. The reason being, our mind doesn't register not or mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you say, if, try it with a child. Mm-hmm. If you tell a child, Usiende pale, you'll find 100% sure. Apo, apo ndo utampata. Usima, ukimambia. Our brain in a register, stop. But don't, not. So you have to change how you talk to yourself, self-talk. How you speak to yourself. Mm-hmm. Ati, oh, sitafanya. Our brain doesn't capture that. That is what you manifest. Mm-hmm. Ati o oh, uh, ni ati Kenya ni pua. Ati siji, nini, we have to. There's a lot of 
things we have to change. I mean, we are not there yet, but tunazanza mahali. Mm-hmm. Yes, tunazanza mahali to change to your mindset. Your book, I think I'll, I'll share it with you. Yes, please do. I'll share it with you. You will be, you will, eh, hey, uta, uta, utafikiria kama maisha yako wato umeko unadanganyo. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Even how you talk and everything. It's a nice book. It's mm-hmm. a nice read. All right. Yes. Now, I thought we will uh, end up talking about uh, teeth and dental, <laughs> but we've talked about manifestations. And yeah, taught us oh, something. that one, that's, you see that topic, mm-hmm. that's the topic I can wake up anytime, any day and talk about it without Yes, but before we go, eh, yes. uh, please tell us uh, two or three bad behaviors that we have on our teeth. Or we bad do, behaviors. yes, that make our uh, teeth not either healthy yes. or uh, the, the, they redu- we reduce the health of our teeth. Mm. What are some of those things that we do? So three, one. Um, sweets. Mm-hmm. Eating sweet is not bad. It's advisable. It's good for your body. Mm-hmm. Chocolate, it's good. Yeah, because your body needs that sugar. Mm-hmm. But how you eat it is what counts. Mm-hmm. Um, you can bring me a box of chocolate supper easy and I eat them all. Mm-hmm. I eat, mm-hmm. But if I eat saizi, after an hour I go and eat an, uh, ten, uh, a bar of chocolate, ten, uh, evo, evo, evi kidogo, kidogo. Mm-hmm. that's what spoils our teeth. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, lazima wangalie, ukule mara moja, kama ume plan kukula sweets, ikule tu at, at a go. Iyo time tu na ya, u, 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 maybe unini, u just, um, what do you call it, u oshe tu meno and then mambo yishi. Mm-hmm. Apo hivyo utakuwa longevity ya mene yako itakuwa long. Mm-hmm. Um, two, how we brush our teeth also matters. Mm-hmm. Tulilan vibaya tukio wadogo how to brush our teeth. Mm-hmm. I wish I had my nini model hapa hivyo ni wanyeshe. Mm-hmm. How you brush your teeth, uh, you're not supposed to just brush hivyo. Mm-hmm. Unafua u brush in circles hivyo. In, in a circular way. In a circular way. way. Uh-huh. Una brush juu and be gentle with your teeth because your gums, the cancer could bleed, also might bring another uh, infection in your blood system. Yeah? Sababu mdome yako yiko na germs mingi. Once your, your gums are... <laughs> once your germs are... Your gums are bleeding, <laughs> unaza nini, uh, that bacteria. Una, I'm telling you, um, you know when I started uh, doing the, my, my career, mm-hmm. Hey, nilikuwa nikiona watu wakikis I see bacteria. I was just seeing bacteria. Hey, it was so bad. But so you were not kissing when you were doing dentistry? I was single at that time. Okay, you were so lucky. So I was just seeing and I'm like, eh, no, you're jamming in and I'm like, yeah, I love you, but you're not. But you're not, but you're not, but you're not, but you're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, 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 it really traumatized. So it, traumatized it is true. Me. What do they say? When yes. when you date a, a person in the in medicine way. world, yes. they look at your eyes and see mm-hmm. a yes. disease. Yes. They are not seeing true. love. <laughs> true. <laughs> do you know when a guy comes to talk to me, the first thing I see is the, 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 the teeth. Yes, and the oh tongue. Oh my goodness. And the tongue. Come on, wash your tongue. I'm a wash. I'm a wash. <laughs> <laughs> mm. important. Me as well, I can ask how is your is your dental uh, hygiene? Mm-hmm. What do you do? Yes. Yeah, I have to know. You don't want germs. Ni kianza kukukis ni sianze kukis bacteria because hizo bacteria utakwenda nini? Na ni rusia huko. That was a nice way to Alaku end. Alafu kitu kingine mouthwash. People should invest in mouthwash. Mm-hmm. Mouthwash ni kwa sana because it kills the germs that are not needed in our system. Mm-hmm. In our mouth. Mm-hmm. Na mdomo ni chafu. Mm-hmm. Hii mdomo iko na germs mingi. Mm-hmm. Do you know our I'm sorry to say this. You're a doctor so yeah. <laughs> If you allow me, mm-hmm. unajua our down there mm-hmm. mdomo ni chafu kushinda huko. What do you mean? Yes. Yes. Ile jamsi ko hapa. Mm. 
I'm telling you, it's so bad. I'm not going to But I need to traumatize. I need to kiss that. Renal to traumatize. I'm not going to Invest in mouthwash. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. to make sure your partner is also using a um, using mouth mouthwash. You keep me as you buy nagioni. You're good. Ama kuna tu. You can also do three times a week. It's okay. Okay. Mouthwash is also good. Even the the toothpaste that you use, even the toothbrush, it counts. Uli badlisha iko apita we. Uli badlisha ya kolini. Toothbrush. Niliko uliza mtazamaji. So, ni lazima mtu, your dental hygiene is very, very key. Sababu wata watu wengi wanakufa sababu tu ya meno. How do you? Yeah. Before hii kuja ipatikane the root cause, the disease, the illness itself started kwa meno. So, why is it that there is so much bacteria? In our mouths, as we finalize. Yeah, it's um, the things we eat. Mm -hmm. You know, everything we eat uh, in a build bacteria. Mm -hmm. Even check milk. Yeah, milk is going to be lactose. Kuna tu anything that comes in your mouth, ikona bacteria. Kuna So it's better. Ata, by the way, but let me talk now to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yeah, let me talk to Kenyans about toothpick. Mm -hmm. Toothpick is not advisable. Fai kutumia toothpick kunini. Najua kuna watu wata nini. Musi ni kujia tafadhali. But toothpick is not advisable kutumia kunini. Because when you're using it, una prickle your gums. And that's where now the bleeding comes. So, tumia nini dental floss. It's very good. It's advisable. You can also use... Kuna hizi dental, hizi floss the stick. You can also do that. Invest in your hygiene because ukikuwa mgonjwa, it's expensive. It's much expensive, way expensive than now buying a mouthwash and a dental floss, you know. So invest in these things. Even kuna tu vitundogondogo, even the toothpaste and toothbrush. Yeah, it's it's good to know. Usinunue tu tooth, toothbrush is not just toothbrush. Lazima ujue it has to be a bit ni nio isikuwe ile ngumu sana yenye brush in your mouth. No. You just yenye <laughs> kotu it will be kind to you. You know, this body you have to love it. Mm -hmm. Beat your eyes, beat your your nose, your ears hata ukinini masikio yako. Do you know all these nerves is, is um, connected? Ukiumwa na nini na na jino kwanza hizi za huku chini hata masikio itauma mm -hmm. alafu itaenda na huku kwa nini kwa, kwa kichwa mm -hmm. utaanza kuuma na kichwa so lazima hata uki, uki nini masikio be gentle kuwa gentle na na, na mwili yako mm -hmm. just be kind start be being gentle. kind with yourself and yes. then hiyo tu itajileta tu hata wewe mwenyewe utasikia tu umeanza kuwa kind to people because mm -hmm. your your body will be appreciating mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much. Karibu. Uh, are you Dr. Irene or? Uh... Wata, mm -hmm. tusipatiane titles. Mm -hmm. Sitaki kupeana titles. Okay. Because now, next time to kifanya, I'll be a psychologist. Mm -hmm. So, I, I hate titles, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, actually, recently, I started, um, I started, uh, Identifying myself as I am, mm -hmm. just I am, it's enough. All right. Yeah. So, easy uh, to they will come up, but they're not who I am. They're what I do. I do. Mm -hmm. So, I detach when I'm out of the practice, I detach from the titles. When I'm at home, I'm mom. When I'm with my friends, everybody calls me Rene. See, mama, mom. Mm -mm. Don't call me with my nini, my children's name. No. It's Rene. It's Rene. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Rene, yes. <laughs> for sharing your story with us. And we celebrate what you're doing in Germany. Thank you. And uh, we wish you the very best, it's even in your next sunny. career. Yeah, thank you for having me. Most I really welcome. appreciate it. I've been just watching from TV. And uh, today we are here. Yes. Dankeschön. Ich danke dir. Oh, danke. 
Okay, yes. anaweza unasema bite ama danke auch. Okay, danke auch. Yes. Oh, mimi nishakuwa. Ah, oh, I'm going to Germany by. You're good. <laughs> you're good, you're good, wewe. Du bist schon schön, du bist schon gut. You're good to go. Thank you. Yeah, karibu sana. Yes. Thanks for your team. Uh, they are very patient, they are very kind and they are wanajituma. Mm-hmm. I'm so so super happy to meet you guys. And also thank you for kuni welcome up by the yes. nyumbani and listen I to your story. At home. Yes. It what was story yangu. Thank you so much. I'll be happy if this story inspires just one person. Mm-hmm. I'll know that my story um imefanya purpose and ilikuwa ifanye. Not one so person. So if yes more than one it will. Yes. That is for sure. So uh right now uh since I've not graduated I'm taking kids pro bono. Mm-hmm. I'm not charging anything. Mm-hmm. Just to talk to kids. If uh, a parent feels like their kids are you know being um rebellious, uh the behavior has changed or anything, they can uh, chat me up. What is your email address? Um my email address is um the irene at gmail com you'll give us so that we can put it down there yeah and then uh, they can get in touch with you yeah yes. but they can also follow me on my nini they mm-hmm. can just dm me mm-hmm. um i always try my best to answer my dms and give us your socials yes so my fp is uh rene choko like r e n e y choko like chocolate C H O C O. Um Instagram also same Rene underscore Choco. TikTok ya yeah, Rene Choco everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I hope okay umesema tusikule chocolate sana but anyway. Ah mnaweza kula but mm-hmm. msikule kwa ile ati hizo mnajipania intervals. Mm-hmm. You know. Kula tu ile mpaka ushibe. <laughs> and then washe tu meno and then uh si chomei sana eh na msiangalie sana nani alipiga hii picha but our director of photography yes. how is shiba chocolate what one i know serious mm. and how i tits zake zikwaje how how often do you get uh, the sasa how often you do you go to visa atitauliza i think i should do an assessment <laughs> niangalie hizo meno maybe kuna kuna a lot of plaque up on that si ana kunde huwa anaenda kumwani <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, they it's a video when they when the boys and men I swear. <laughs> Thank you so much really. <laughs> Welcome to Nana King Ori. I really time. really appreciate. Yes. Salimia team wenye wamebaki kwa ofisi. Mtawasalimia. I really appreciate. Yes. Next time nikikuja nitawaletea chocolate but usikule in intervals. <laughs> Okay. Ndio tusi mm, kama Na, kama mzana wao <laughs> tusi shamba mzana. Tusi sambaze eh Tusi sambaze bacteria. bacteria. Mm. Eh, tusi sambaze bacteria. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Tuko family, that's the story of Rene conquering the world from Kenya and now in Germany practicing dentistry and psychology. What a combination and what a <laughs> what a heart, what a soul we have here. I hope you've learned something from this story you get some inspiration my name is Kingori Wangeshi before i dash to use the mouthwash i would like to remind you that uh, if you are there and you'd like to improve your digital skills this is what you do uh, with the help of Tuko how do you get a start in digital marketing you can start with this Tuko copywriting course you learn creative writing techniques social media copywriting seo how to use AI tools effectively, attracting new clients, and more. Enroll now.